Hello everyone, and welcome to the Chinese Grand Prix! So it is of course then another league race, round 3 of course of the uh, AOR Season 8 Championship. And uh, of course having got 3rd position in the last 2 races, I'm uh, hoping for at least another podium in this race. Ideally if I could beat Kifla that would be awesome. He's won the first two races, so that is my goal for this race, and we'll see how I get on then. So, I feel quite comfortable with this track. My current uh, time lane scene qualifying is at 1 minute 33.256. You can do good on my outlap for my qualifying up as usual. And uh, Kipler has done a 32.7 now. I'm not going to beat that, not going to lie. My best before this was a 33.1, and uh, I would do very well to beat that. So, I'm not going to beat Kipler's time, but I'm just hoping to at least get my current in second. So, if I can stick to second, that'll be awesome. And uh, using all my cars now, as much cars as I can for the one for the line. DRS is wide open, make sure I'm on rich then. Up for the gears, I'm going to be turning nice and early and getting my brakes also quite late. And just missed my apex there, and that's going to push me a little bit wide. Back on the throttle there, middle of the track. And uh, it's an interesting call that one. It's very difficult to know where's best to go through. And that was about right, but I need to brake a bit later. I need to six my apex a little bit better. On the throttle, nice and early through. That was a pretty decent exit there, though. I'll, uh, I'll take that and uh, so point two is my current best and I'm already 600 down that's that's not good and uh, breaking quite late but that's nice absolute nail my apex sweet on throttle on the X as well that was pretty much perfect you can't get much better than that really car now so I hope he gets out of the way which he looks like he does indeed yes he did he's keeping nice and tight here I've got a little bit wide there and that's going to push me wide and no way missing my apex by quite some way really and that of course compromised my apex going to miss my apex again and now I'm finally back on my line and uh, poor corner really, you need to get it turned a lot earlier than that and be right on the curb and breaking a lot later as well. Lost, there we go. And was two tenths down, so I lost a good, good chunk of time there. And I can tell you, looking at sector time, it looks like I lost four tenths to my, uh, my personal best in that sector. So a uh, really quite poor sector there. Didn't look too bad, but I can tell you it was pretty poor. And uh, not a bad last couple of corners, they've been pretty good, so hopefully a bit of call that time back in the final sector. The is wide open now as a car ahead. Hopefully he doesn't get in my weight, but it looks like it's going pretty slow. Yes, he dives out of the way there. He's going to have to break very late then for his final corner. Oh, final corner, sorry, there. Chicane. No. Airpin. <laughs> and uh, nailed the throttle on the exit. That was pretty sweet there. Not much wheel spin. Up to the gears then for the final corner of the track. And uh, see if we can get on the throttle. Nice deli. Very wide there, though. Just off the track. But uh, we'll carry on anyway. So, minute 32 for 136. And uh, did not expect that time to be uh, that much better. And there we go. It was. Uh, but I'm still down in fourth position. You can see there. Christian and uh, Sam managed to get ahead of me. And that uh, Kifler on pole with that amazing time that he did. Straight into the race end. 3 1 wings and running. 51 49 high large brakes. 1 11 balance. 11 1 1 1 suspension. Gears a little bit like that. And 4 left camera off right tail. I'm rushing through them a little bit because someone's pressed start. So I want to make sure I show you all the information. So planning to pit on lap 5 then after um, starting the options. And then uh, 11 laps on each set of tyres pretty much. And uh, I can tell you that I've done no race practice whatsoever for this race. I'd done about an hour of qualifying practice. Um, but nothing else than that was because I was working on this day and I literally had to rush home. I literally got in about 5 to 8 and the race starts at 8, so it was, uh, it was all pretty rushed. But anyway, 4th on the grid, I'm happy with that. We're on the grid now, as the lights come on, the 4 lights. 5 lights, which makes then. We're going to go full throttle start this time and it looks like a bit of a better start than the send there. He has uh, to get held a little more near the start. He is a little bit laggy than me, so it's probably helping a little bit too much movement in the second gear there. But with just enough alongside send that he can't turn it on me here, which is good. And uh, getting back around there. And I go to tuition now. Pretty slow that, taken by surprise, it's just how slow he was. But, uh, we'll get away with that and thought about turning on the seven there, but thought he was on the inside. Good job, didn't because look at that right on the inside there. And, uh, nice in the slipstream, Christian though, using lots of curves in it, or a little bit of curves It looks like he's lagged a bit there though, he's pushed back behind me. So that's good, that's gives me third position effectively. Just have a look at the guys ahead now then, and turn it to go on. Oh, just get a huge, huge hit from behind, and that pushed me right off the track. And that, look how many positions it's costing me. And look at this. I'm uh, now down in ninth position, and uh, I think I'll be alright for the ninth, but that was after being in th quite a comfortable third position on the start. The contact once again behind there, but it will be okay. And a break a little bit too late, just tap. Who's that mini black on the right of me there, but luckily he's not affected by it. And uh, it could have been, could have spun there and had to wait for him, and that would have cost me loads of time. So a little bit of caution there. They're lucky to be inside of Granny here, but no fight about that. Oh, a little bit of a tap. And uh, I can tell you what happened there, that was Sam once again tapping from behind, it wasn't his fault. I think that one might have been his fault, but the, the first one wasn't his fault. But um, yeah, so I look at the inside of uh, Granu there, but a little bit of tap from behind just pushed me into him. And uh, maybe hit him, but I managed to get past anyway, so I'm up to seven position. And that full throttle in, nice lots of slipstream down this straight. Then I've got pretty long gears, so uh, more than effective as well, though, somehow. Breaking quite early here, still on the breaking, I'm breaking myself. So I look up at the inside of Uma here, and uh, oh, just get pushed sideways. And what is going on back there? That is just that is so messy. For a league race, this has been an absolutely appalling first lap, I must say. Very wide next to there. 
and uh, really, really poor, poor, poor first lap for a race. It shouldn't, shouldn't be like that. Obviously, there was, there was three incidents involved with them, uh, two of which were were quite major, I would say. A couple of people spurned in that last incident there, so it's not good. And uh, I'll tell you what happened. I have no idea how it happened, but I was uh, looking at the inside of Uma, and he was running my, around my outside. Suddenly, I don't know whether he spun or, but I looked at Granny's camera, who was just behind him, Granny's point of view. And uh, and it looked like Uma just insta spun into my side pod and pushed me sideways, and that also caused me to stop from accelerating. So really, really random. No idea what happened, but anyway, I managed to get away with it and didn't lose any positions. Just uh, probably another second or two, about a second. So could have been a lot worse. But look at the gap on me. I've already to the leaders. So really, really bad luck on the start there. I don't think I did anything wrong really, barring pushing me in the left a little bit. But um, you know that does not so bad. You didn't suffer anything from it. So. Be down in 7th position after qualifying on 4th. It's not a great start, but we'll battle our way up and see what we can do. You can see on the right hand side their tyres are already quite worn. We're not even at the end of lap 2 yet. So uh, not sure my stress is going to work out, but we will play it by it. And uh, going to Richland, just trying to catch up on these guys. Got lots of curves. And uh, it is better actually to use the curves after that corner. If you use it during the corner, it just gets wasted. It puts all the energy into the tyres, into the track. You should use it when you're in a straight line to use all the energy to push you forwards. And uh, not nice because then you guys go out battling, so hopefully they will be... Uh, Someone's run wide. The Red Bulls run really, really wide. Though. Who's that? It's Jack first. And uh, not quite managed to get past him, but it's certainly slowed, slowing each other down, which is good to see because I'm able to close right in on them. The seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth. That's that fourth position I'm looking at now for these next three cars. So hopefully I can get past them. And I feel like I did have pretty decent pace at this track, so hopefully I will be able to do it. Christian is the fastest up there. Long way up on me. No surprise there. Second up on me. Uh, of course, I'm in traffic. Those Jack first run very wide. There's on the grass. I imagine that one able to sneak up the inside. And it does indeed, and he's just completely messed up that corner, isn't he? let's be honest. He just <laughs> ran right onto the grass, and there's no grip out there. And, uh, yeah, no chance. So, there we go then. That's giving me that position up to sixth position, but still nowhere near where I start. Well, not far off where I started, but nowhere near where I was before getting hit. So, still need to push hard now. Let's see if I can get the positions back. Just a second between me and Kramer then, so not a lot. But uh, it's a little bit too fast. So we skip then to the end of lap four, and I can tell you that I was thinking about now where I should pit, where I should pit, and I decided to dive into the pits. And um, almost just a couple there, but we got away with it. And uh, yeah, I was I was really on the pitch. They really open and narrow whether to pit. My tyres were quite worn. I knew I could do another lap, but the tyres would probably die during that lap. And uh, the main thing I was debating out was whether I would get out of the pits. And I don't get out of the pits. A little bit fortunate that Williams almost helped me up, but I got away with it. I thought a lot of people probably pit on this lap. Is it worth staying out another lap just to stop getting held up in the pits? And uh, I decided to just pit. It's not worth the risk. Because uh, I hope to get an undercut on some of the guys ahead as well. So, uh, yeah, there we go, that's why I pitted. So, Kramer then just ahead, back to P9 at the moment, but hopefully it'll be a lot higher once everyone's pitted. Probably at the end of this lap, everyone will pit. I don't think anyone started on Primes, didn't really look, to be honest. He's been there on the exit. So, we'll get a little bit overseas, but I'll push then to try and catch up to Grammar on these fresher tyres. Kramer, sorry, not Grammar. <laughs> Kramer with the K. And at 1.3 seconds then, as it stands. And I can tell you that the bits we missed, the bit that I edited out, I didn't really manage to gain much on them. I was nice to just about close up to them, but not kind enough to make a move or anything like that. So not a lot more I could have done. But too wide there. I'm going to get away with it. And Fat First disconnects there. And uh, that's no easy because they disconnect. Fat First and Jack First, they've both got pretty good connections. It's not often you see them disconnecting. So there we go. I think he was ahead of me, so that will give me one of the positions. And uh, we're still in ninth, so whether he pitted, I'm not too sure. But it was, uh, Jack First went off, wasn't it? And Fat First was battling with him, so I think he was ahead of me. And go on straight for now, so yes, he must have been ahead of me. So uh, that's given me another position, and Sam has also disconnected, and I believe that's going to also give me another position. Is it? I don't know where it'll give me a position, but. And Firkin! Lots and lots of disconnections here, and uh, these guys, well, the last two disconnect down now haven't got great connections. Firkin, I think this isn't too bad, but Sam, I know this isn't great, hence the lots of lag hits he gave me. But uh, yeah, not good, up to sixth now then. Is that a true indicator we'll probably see as we go past the pits? I think that is true. So it's another, another couple of positions there. Up to P6, just absolutely gifted those positions. Is anyone in the pits? I don't think anyone's in the pits either. So, yeah, just gifted another couple of positions for disconnections. And uh, I can tell you, we'll be experimenting with a new host because there was a few disconnections as we just saw in this race. So, not really too sure what happened. It's a bit strange having so many at once. But, um, yeah, but there we go. Help me anyway. And Kramer just ahead now, the purple first sector, I'm just half a second back from me now then. Very close as I just get into the gravel there, I can tell you he ran a little bit wide and I always, when someone runs wide ahead of me, it always tempts me to go a little bit too much to the inside because I just 
I'm trying to avoid their dirty air and really get a good corner, but it's a little bit too much there and touch the gravel, which is not a fast way through there. Just ram it into second gear there. Good job this game hasn't got much engine, uh, engine performance um, uh, simulation, I guess. <laughs> the engine doesn't really get damaged. And uh, so it really close to uh, Cram and Allen, just four tenths of a second then, so not much to do another purple sector. So hopefully we can uh, get it now. We're going to be all over this slipstream. Full throttle now then on this corner. Not quite this slipstream a little bit wide, but now we're right in it. So my cousin once again, now I'm going to use all of my cousin, see if I can get somewhere near him. And it uh, looks like I'm too far back. It's quite having to use all my cousin. I'll be a lot closer, but I don't know. Actually, I'm getting on him loads. Look how much I'm getting on him. Might be even better to go up inside. Have a little bit of look up the inside. I'll have a little look, but no, just too far back. Wasn't worth risking an all out move with the inside. He's break pretty late there. Let's try and defend against me. And that's no one to close right up to him. Almost touched him there. That was so, so close. But uh, the other way back again now. But we'll get the rest again down here. Uh, we both run very wide and just forcing off the floor for a brief second there. Lost me a little bit of momentum and a purple lap for me there. Fast on 36.5. So it shows that I have got a pretty decent amount of pace. And looks like there's quite a few cars budged up as the Crammers run a little bit wide there now. I'm going to have a look at the inside. And just managed to sneak my front wing alongside him and force my way through there. And uh, I'll take that, and we're going to have the next corner, need to get good exit, which looks like I've managed to do, yes, pretty good. He's certainly not gaining on me, so that's pretty much moved done, because I will have the inside line for the next corner. And uh, let's have a little look. Yep, he's not going to get me around that, so as long as we get a decent enough exit, that will move over, but not a great exit. He's managed to pull alongside me again. I'll just squeeze over there, <laughs> make a little bit of contact. And uh, I think I'll turn left again, but that is now, should be moved done. <laughs> But uh, he's trying to get him into my uh, dirty air through these corners. So he loses lots of time. I think judging on the last couple of laps, I am faster than him because of course I had that. Was it second and a half, two seconds when we came out of the pit. So I managed to catch him and overtake him. So I hopefully will be faster than him. So I need to try and just push now and pull away. We'll definitely get the him. Only four tenths back. So hopefully if I get an effect, he won't get to catch me. Look at that front left tire already. It's already quite warm. And the uh, one's going right side there. Then comes a little way back. I'll use all of my curves as well. Yeah, then, so we'll get DOS, but I wouldn't imagine it be anywhere near close enough to me. So have a look. And no, no chance whatsoever. The, I've run in high front suspension as well, as you saw in the beginning, which helps a lot with straight line speed. So particularly down that back straight, I'm quite fast. Which is good, so there we go then. Now this position, position move done rather on Kramer. And we'll get DOS once again for here. A bit wide there again. And we'll get DOS down here, but no, it's going to be too far back. And uh, only four tenths, but it's not that long the straight really, and no, it'd be way too far back, so no chance of that. We'll skip ahead then to lap 11. You see the right-hand tyres there. On the right side, the tyres are pretty worn on them. Looking at KLA just ahead of me. Who's the other guy that was ahead of me? So this will be for third position. Getting on loads in the DRS. We'll have a little look up the inside. I will indeed dive up the inside there. Brain all slow down for the apex. Get it all turned in. Don't be on the curb on the outside. It costs you time to be on that. And there we go. Move done. I believe he's coming to the pits because he's gained a lot on him. Oh, quite a lot on him on that last lap. And uh, one fault too early. Once again, wide there. And uh, really tricky one to get right. That is, you can lose a lot of time. But you, I think you can probably lose more time than you can gain through there. But very tricky, but anyway, we skip ahead now to lap 12 then, so I do pit this lap as you can see, and I can tell you exactly why I pitted, I pit because I saw the guys ahead pit, who was Kiffer and Christian of course, I'm up to third position now, and uh, you know, of course I saw them pit, and I was wondering really whether to stay out one more lap or not, but I thought well they've pit, so I'll just copy them, I'm not going to waste any time to them of course, and, uh, that's who I'm hoping to battle in if I can, my hope now is that they battle from about six seconds ahead of me, so seven there. My hope is that they battle with each other quite heavily and slow each other down. Say half a second lap on average. And that will uh, really to close up to them. Hopefully I'll take them for the win. That's my only real hope for now. But KLA managed to get back ahead of me. But I did manage to close him up so I should be able to get him. Uh, I'm not too worried about him. Um, well, I say that. It's not going to be easy. Don't get me wrong. But it's, uh, I, you know, I did show that I was faster than him. Whereas I wasn't necessarily faster than uh, Christian and Kiffler. So that's you know a lot less, lot less uh, likely to happen, but I'm, I'm more hopeful than able to over overtake KLA, especially if it run up later, so I'll have fresher tyres. Uh, we'll see how it plays out then. So I'm closing down now, 1.8 seconds as it stands. And uh, can I close them down? Okay, can. Pretty sweet corner, that's how you want to take it. Break very late and use the gears to slow you down more than the brakes. And uh, I really love that section of corners from well, the, the whole sweeping, sweeping left, right, and then the double left hand out. That's I mean, it's underrated by even me, but I would say that's probably one of my most, one of my favourite sections of any circuit in, in on the calendar. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of China, but that section, when you nail it, it's so, so good. You can break so late, and like I say, just use the gears, really get the car to slow down and turn in, force it over to the right-hand side, then get on the brakes again while turning in. Again, then ram it down to first gear, force the gears to get you to slow down, 
get it nice in the apex and take more speed in there than you feel to both the corners. You can really nail the entries to the corners. It feels so good when you nail it, um, but it is so hard to nail. So it is it's one of my favourite favorite sections. We'll see how we get on next lap. We managed to close down, but we touch the barrier there. The barrier, the um, all down inside. Managed to sneak the RS though. I'm in the section, of course, as well. Just six tenths of a second between us now, so I managed to close right up to him. So we look at this four in the middle of the DRS. I want to try and avoid a slipstream, which I managed to do on the inside of him. And almost have a look at the inside of him there. There's not much time in the game when you can just stick to the inside a bit better than the car ahead. And uh, again, try to stick to the inside here to try and stay out of a slipstream if I can. Did not work great. I'm not losing time to him with a poor exit, but that's really you want to try and stay out of the dirty air of the car ahead. Let's have him do a purple first sector. Let's go for the first fine lap in these new tyres. Trying to get a good exit there, but not doing a great job of it. And uh, just three tenths between us now then. Right, here we go, this that section of corners on the back, it's going to be a bit more tricky with uh, the car ahead. So you can see, just ground it onto the second gear to get this turn in. Then again, right on the first, hit lots of speed there, don't want to really be on the kerbs. And uh, that was not a, a great example, it wasn't bad through there, but you can take both those corners quite a bit faster. So uh, again, just trying to push down on dirty air, it's a break very late there, just trying to close right up to him for the nice run and damage the rest zone. And uh, I've always found people go quite slow on that apex, I tend to maintain quite a bit of speed through there. And uh, here we go then, so I'm nice and close to have lots and lots of subtrain, lots of DRS, We've got full curse charge as well. So it should be a relatively easy move. And uh, here we go, pretty much alongside him, I'm alongside him, just left my DRS, the DRS is wide open now. And uh, we are already past him then, so we just need to stick to the inside to make sure he doesn't get any silly ideas. And part of the reason I stick to the inside as well in that moment is, there we go, he just didn't dive around the outside of me, so quite often people will break later, me, later than me in those sort of moves, because I will break relatively conservative, just to make sure that... Uh, Oh, was, that was Kiffler there, that was Kiffler on the inside. Kiffler looks like he's managed to damage his front wing. And, uh, well, I mean, he's out of contention for the win now, you've got to say. As Christian is the fastest up of the race, and half a second quicker, I mean, it's quite a bit, but, well, there we go. I mean, I'm still in third, because F1, F1 Daniel Day, F1 DJ, as Fake Ghost Pirate calls him. Um, which I do found when I start using that thing. F1 DJ, just ahead, which I expect is probably on a two-stop. He has been last couple of races, so I expect he'll do that. But, um, yeah, there we go. Kiffler then, making a mistake, hitting the wall, and uh, that's what I mentioned, I think this is my first league race video this season, is that I think podium for all the way potentially could give me the championship, as long as I get a podium every single race without fail, so no 7th places, no 6th places, no 5th places, a podium in, in every race, pretty much every race, and if not, you know, a 4th place, and you know, the occasional win, I think that will, uh, that will hopefully give me the championship, because, you know, I just haven't seen huge amounts of consistency, Christian, I would say is the is the guy I would rate next to me, of course. <laughs> he's the only guy the guy I would particularly rate for consistency. Um, Kiffer's shown it in the first couple of races, of course, but he's not really been challenged as he's not been pressured at all, really. Um, Christian, of course, passed him in this race, and there we go. He's, he's cracked under pressure, and he's, he's hit the ball there. So, there we go. So, I don't know where he'll finish, but uh, certainly I, I will almost certainly outrace him now. That would allow me to gain some points on him in the championship, but he's quite, I think he was 20 points ahead of me coming into this race, so a huge amount ahead of me, so I don't know whether I'll be able to, uh, well, I'm not going to overtake him, am I, let's be honest, I'll win, and he doesn't score barely any points, so that's not going to happen, but if I close him down by or at least 10 points, that'd be really good, so right, we'll see how we get on with that then, so lap 16 then, so I'm planning now to put again on lap 20, for another 8 laps in on primes to the end, and uh, 8 seconds to KLA behind me then, uh, 8 seconds, sorry, 8 tenths, a bit different. So, uh, not a huge gap, but big enough to me that I'm not hugely concerned about them anymore. I'm just more trying to push now to catch F1 DJ just ahead. And we're only, we're only just over halfway distance of this race, actually. So, uh, I shouldn't have too many issues getting him, even though he's on one less stop than me. He will now have, he will have likely only taken one stop at this point, as of course I've taken two. So, effectively, once I overtake him, I'm a full pit stop ahead of him, and that is enough to negate his two stop strategy. So. I'm close enough to him, I'm not too concerned with him towards the end, of course you can see he's got not great tyre wet. And I'm just monster him down in this sector though, look at this. I'm going to get DRS on this lap actually, I was thinking that's going to happen, I was quite a way back from him. But um, yeah, we're good to get him as well, be up to officially second place. And uh, I think realistically that's going to be it, because Christian is oh, too long, too far ahead. I might be able to be faster than him, but it will only be by 10 to But F1, down, F1 DJ there just ran a little bit wide, and well, there we go, I'm past him. Lots of curves, and there we go, we've absolutely monstered him already. And now I'm going to pull away with DRS as well. And there we go. <laughs> Move down, that was easy, wasn't it? That just shows how, how heavy his tyre is on the uh, front left there. Breaking late ish for that corner, but again, sticking to the middle. And as I was mentioning before, I do tend to stick to the middle, partly because I know people tend to try and outbreak, you know, outbreak me because I've just overtaken them. Um, 
but also because I know that, uh, as I just said, to bit there, lap 90, one lap early. I'll try and get an undercut on Christian just to try and do something about him. Um, like I say, I think it's about six or seven seconds to him ahead. And uh, yeah, anyway, final thing I'm just trying to say on that sticking to the mid middle of the track. But also, if they, if they do outbreak themselves, they lock a wheel or you know do anything silly, they've got plenty of room to go around the outside of me. So if they want to go wide, they're not going to fly into me. They are going to, it's like three tenths of a stop, they're not too bad. Um, yeah, they are going to fly on the outside and they're not going to you know, pump me off or anything silly like that. And so, we skip ahead then, we don't bother watching the outlap running around, nothing really happened. And there's just a 4.6 second gap to Christian now then, so after he's pitted, I've managed to get the gap all the way down to 4.6 seconds then, so just a brief little shot there to show the gap. And, uh, and so Uma's managed to destroy his vehicle then, no idea how he managed that. And uh, I've literally got no idea how I managed that, this track the walls aren't particularly close, so that's quite an achievement. It's now seven seconds to Christian, so that's why it's over. Four laps left to go. No chance to catch him unless he spins, which, as I said, with his consistency is incredibly unlikely. So uh, pretty much race over there. Race over there. Tyre, not too bad on my side, but safety car has been deployed. Safety car is deployed, and it's so rare we've seen that. That must have been because Uma crashed there, and straight to lean, rich, uh, lean mixture there. I'm going to say lean mixture. That's right. <laughs> um, just to try and um, save a bit of fuel. And uh, you see sitting a black car on the track there to let everyone through. But look how spread out this field is. Will it be worth pitting? I mean, if I just carry on as I am now, it's running a little bit deeper. If I carry on as I am now, Christian, I mean, we're getting on the same tyre where Christian Perlman might even be a bit better than mine. But uh, no, I've decided to pit. I've decided to pit because look at the gaps. There's three cars behind me and there's a huge gap to the next car. So worst case scenario, I'm going to be what? Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And look at that, two of the cars have pits. I've only lost one position. So... So glad if that course goes straight for option size, it's going to be the best bet for the end. And uh, I don't know if that would really matter. And uh, well, there we go. The, yeah, the other two cars are miles too far back. So that is going to be third position then behind the safety car with brand new tyres. Here we go. Let me skip a couple of laps. And they're all bunched up. There's one car miles behind. But safety car is in this lap then. That is a, that is a dream come true for me. I was thinking, well, I don't know if it's going to work. It's only going to be the last lap. I thought it was going to go out, come in next lap. It's actually coming this lap. And, uh, and well, there we go. I've just gone to lean there again. Just to make sure I save a bit of fuel, because he's not going to bolt yet. He can't. And, uh, and wow. So that's going to give me two laps then. So I'm going to have to push like hell. It's a case of one, two at the moment. I'm going to have to push like hell then to try and see if I can do something about the two cars ahead. I'll imagine better get KLA again. No disrespect to him, but he is on one tire. on brand new option tires. And a nice and close. Run a little bit wide there as well. And I've got lots of curves now, of course. So, oh, here we go. This should be easy. Down the straight, lots of slipstream. Going to use curves for after the start finish line. Use half my curves, and there we go. We're all alongside him, shouldn't be too much of a problem getting him, getting him into his first corner. Need to try and make sure I stick on that line and run a little bit wide. So a little look. I'm inside here, but he's not quite alongside me. Yes, he is actually. Yes, he is. I'm just squeezed in there. I didn't realise he's alongside me. But there we go. So I moved down then. So back up to my position I was in before I pit. So it's literally lost me nothing at this stage. And uh, looks like Kelly. I imagine fall off me now because he has got much more one tires than me. So uh, four tenths. I imagine that'll be more like a second coming in the first. Uh, in the middle sector, and I've run a little bit deep there, but I got away with it. But two seconds to Christian, then. I mean, it's not long I've got. I've got a lap and a half now. And yeah, I want fresher tyres, but they're, they're not in the best condition already. And these tyres are quite fragile on this track, so they're not in the best condition that they could be. And uh, I'm just going to have to push and hustle the car, and I'm, I'm still not into my rhythm yet. I'm not quite there yet. I don't really know how much grip these tyres have given me. And 1.5 seconds, I've managed to lose half a second in the middle sector. And uh, that's quite a bit of time, of course, but half a second per sector, that will do me, and I will be, uh, oh, well, hopefully passing by the end. But, uh, of course, catching him and passing him is a is whole different thing. And I've also reached there down the stretch to try and gain a bit of time after saving lots of fuel. And look at that. The tyre wear there. Front left is already a bit worn. And it's not as you'd expect it to be, as this is my first flying lap on it. Breaking very late there, trying to get also down, which I managed to nicely nail the apex, and this looks a bit closer to Christian. This is a bit more like it. But his tyres won't be going off. You know, his tyres will last to the end reasonably comfortably, so they won't go off the cliff or anything like that. But they're just going to be more worn than more, more. Stop that again. More worn than mine. And it is now under a second. But there won't be any DRS, not this lap at least. Well, they're straight at least. Hopefully, we'll be at the end of that. And they've done a new fast lap. The race of 34, 4, 34, 5 really. And uh, here we go then. So nice and close to now. Well, close-ish, but. Nowhere near close enough to pull a move on him, so I need, still need to push hard and see if I can catch him. Hook my tyres. I mean, look at that front left. That wasn't great. And just eight tenths of a second then, just under that. So nice close it down a little bit more. Pretty sweet exit for me there, but again, he's just peeling away. Looks like up this hill. And two seconds left on the behind. Looks like he might be holding for third place. So awesome result from him if he manages to do that. 
And again, trying to break quite late. They could break even later than that. And uh, oh, look at this. Christian's ran wide there. And look at that. That just gave me all the time I needed. They lost a couple of tenths there. And that was just enough for me to close up to him. A little bit of a shoppy, sh shabby exit for me there. I couldn't think of the word there. But just three tenths now. Look how close I am to him now. Beautiful just pushing through this corner. Not on purpose. But uh, not going to be able to get up the inside here. I wouldn't imagine. So I ran a little bit wide there. Just trying to get a sweet exit. One which now I'm going to have all of my curves as well in his slipstream. So I should be an easy move. But he's got good straight line speed by the looks of it. And there we go, DRS is wide open then. And look at this straight passing, but we're already in the rev limiter. And he's going to be close to me. He might have a little look at me on the inside. So I'm going to stick pretty much in the middle of the track and break. But too late, I've outbreaked myself. I'm going to run a little bit wide there. And oh, bit of a push from Christian. Floor the throttle. And he's going to some disconnects there. And that is going to give me the win. Well, give to me. I took it, but that's going to help me. And there we go, round the final corner then to take the win for the Chinese Grand Prix. And oh, what a race. What a race. I did not expect that in the slightest and uh small gaps there look at that eight seconds cover the first nine positions and uh Ismusen does get to keep his 10th position there since discount in the final lap but wow wow what a race that was amazing i really enjoyed that couldn't believe it christian made me work so hard for it at the end yeah right i got a bit of luck with uh with the safety car but i didn't have enough bad luck didn't i in the first uh first lap so that was negated that but um but wow can't believe that. Managed to break myself as well. Managed to just block Christian enough though that he hit me and that enabled me to get good enough exit. But what a race. I enjoyed that thoroughly. But anyway, what's going on with the championship then? Just one point between me and Kifler now. One point. So we only managed to finish P7. I forgot to mention there in the results. And uh, F1 DJ did manage to hold on for his third position. So congrats to him. But just one point. I can't believe that. After being 20 points behind after two races. To now get it down to a single point. I oh, couldn't be happy with that. Could not be happy with that. Seventh position then, so not a great result from him at all out of eight finish uh sorry, nine finishes. Um but anyway, I'll take that. Definitely in Christian. Didn't manage to overtake me there. And just nine points back again. So ten points back from Kifler. So just ten points covering the top three in the championship now. And I think this could be a championship race, don't you? A three way championship race. And we haven't had that in quite a few seasons in ARL AR, 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 or AOR. And uh, when I first joined it was between me and Ben. Then it was between me and Ownage for two seasons, and now it looks like it's a three-way battle between me, Kifler, and Christian. And uh, I feel like that race boosted my confidence after the win there. And uh, and I've got the winning feeling. Uh, that gave me some more motivation for the season, I must say. It really did feel good to win that race, especially after not expecting it. Um, but Bahrain next then, and I know that Kifler is so, so strong there. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that a couple of seasons ago, F1 2012 Season 6... Kifler dominated. He really did. I believe it was me and me, Onish and Kifler were racing that time. Kifler wasn't really a championship contender at that point. We all we knew he was quick, but not particularly a contender. And uh, and he beat me and Onish by 20 seconds in the Bahrain Grand Prix. So I think he, I'm, I'm, I'll be amazed if he doesn't win, in all honesty. I'm expecting him to win at Bahrain. So uh, for me, that's pretty much a loss. If I can finish second, I'll be very happy. Third, I'll still be happy with. But Spain, for me, is really where my season starts. So that's where I've really got to start turning up the whip on Kifler. And really start pouncing on them. But we'll see what we can do in Bahrain anyway. And that is, of course, the next race. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.